What's up guys, it's just past 4 p.m. right now and we're gonna get into some sourcing. So today we're just gonna be sourcing shoes to sell on StockX, Goat, eBay, all those platforms. I'm not sourcing shoes for Amazon since I don't really sell shoes on Amazon. I have sold one pair of Puma Thunder Spectres on Amazon like a year ago, but it's not really my main focus and one of the issues with selling shoes on Amazon is that that category has a lot of returns. Shoes and apparel in general on Amazon I'm pretty sure have way higher returns compared to other items and it makes sense because people probably have hard times finding their sizes sometimes. Sometimes people will buy two items and then return one of them because it's a different size. So like I've seen people buy like a size 6 shoe and a size 7 shoe and then they'll return one of them that doesn't fit. So we're gonna be selling these on StockX where you can't return shoes, GOAT where I'm pretty sure you also can't return shoes, and eBay where at least when there are returns, where I feel like returns are lower compared to, at least compared to Amazon. So we're gonna go to, we're gonna start with Nike since Nike has this sale going where you can spend 150 in the app and they'll give you a $75 coupon on August 9th. So Got to do that by tonight, spend $150. I think I already know one shoe that I want to buy, maybe two, we'll see. I'll show you guys what I'm buying, but yeah, I'm going to head over to Nike right now and get started with this. Alright guys, it's almost 5 o'clock right now. We haven't found anything, so that's usually how it goes with Nike.com. I'm gonna check some other websites probably, but it would have been nice to get that $75 coupon. I was thinking if I just buy some like normal shoes that will always sell like some Air Force Ones and then just wait for like back to school, which I mean that's pretty close, but I don't think I want to do that because the only money I would make on that deal is from using the coupon and I don't want the profit riding on that coupon because who knows something could be like you can't use the coupon on select shoes which could potentially be an issue so I might look at Adidas I don't know I don't know it's just past 8 p.m. right now and after I did the Nike search I didn't really do anything else kind of just relaxed the whole day like I've been doing a lot this month and I really don't want August to be a repeat of this month because I just like being productive, I like getting stuff done for the business, and I really enjoy scaling it up, and I just don't want to feel like as unmotivated as I have been this month. Like, this month has just been weird, so we're gonna get back on that, like, consistency, like, planning out, like, every day, all that stuff, we're gonna get back into it. I'm probably gonna commit to posting daily on Instagram again because I've been off on that for the last two months, well, this month and last month, and I really just need to set more micro goals for myself, because thinking of, like, the whole 100k goal that I have set, 100k net worth by the end of the year, that's a lofty goal, and it's so, like, it feels just so distant that it doesn't even, like, it doesn't even matter, so really need those, like, micro goals, like, here's what I need to be doing every day, because that's the stuff that really gets you, like, thinking about, okay, what can I do right now to make things, like, to get closer to the goal, so... Those have really, I mean, those. I think those have helped me in the past, and I know a lot of people really enjoy making those, like, even just having that daily checklist and checking off each thing, like, the feeling of actually checking off everything on your checklist that you wanted to do for the day, that's a good feeling. Like, that's, I want that stuff back. I want to get back into all that stuff, because those are, that was always good times. Like, thinking about a year ago, like, not that I was, like, planning out every day, but, dude, I was doing a ton of work last summer I was doing so much work I was buying so many books the room was like always full which led me to where I am now where I still have like ten thousand dollars spent on those books like I have ten thousand dollars invested in those books so I've been talking for ten minutes now so I don't I don't even know what to say to end this but if you missed yesterday's vlog it's gonna be linked at the end of the video and in the description below and if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's vlog. And until tomorrow's vlog, bye guys. Remember in 2018 when I went on vacation for almost two months, still did like 4,000 in June and then another almost 2,000 in July doing absolutely no work as far as, I only raised prices actually. I raised prices on some items, I remember that. 